Hello everyone, today I will be showing you everything new with the naughty and nice update. Keep in mind that this update is in beta so any of this could change in the near future. The biggest change is the new morality meter. Basically if you do evil things like stealing berries or destroying the environment the meter will slowly deplete. If it gets too low a powerful new boss will spawn punishing you for being too evil. This guy is meant to be as unfair as possible and is basically unkillable since it is your fault for being so evil. Now I know what you're thinking and yes, this sounds really stupid. After all the morality meter doesn't even look that good. This looks like it was made in Microsoft Paint. Luckily a developer has confirmed that this is temporary and that the meter will be hidden in the future. This makes sense since it is more realistic this way. You don't have a meter that tells you if you're a good person in real life so it doesn't make sense for Don't Starve to have that. If you don't do anything bad you will regain 2 points per day, however this isn't that good since you lose 5 points for chopping a tree. The solution is to meditate using the new meditation tab. The meditation tab allows your character to connect with their inner self. By simply meditating for a single minute you can gain a massive 15 morality points. Crafting the golden meditation set from the ruins with tool aside rewards you with 17 morality points per minute. To be honest this is really slow and boring. Like, what, what is this? You really expect me to stand still for minutes at a time just so I can play the game? This is- that's so stupid. Luckily, Clay has listened to player feedback and it less than 3 hours after the update, changed some stats and fixed the problem. Now, meditating will increase your sanity by 4 per minute, which should help you deal with those pesky nightmare creatures. Now onto the balance changes. Firstly, Wigfrid. She now deals 90% less damage to all enemies. This makes a lot of sense lore-wise since Wigfrid is actually an actor, meaning whenever she fights something she's only pretending to fight it. Just like how you pretend to hit people on a stage without actually hitting them. It just makes so much sense. Anyways, Abigail was a bit too overpowered and to balance her out she will now no longer deal any damage to anything. She can't attack anything anymore. In a recent interview, they stated that they didn't really like how a ghost could attack physical beings, you know. It doesn't really make sense so they removed it because it doesn't fit in with the world of Don't Starve. To counter this, now Abigail will gain a massive sanity boost when players stand near her. It is almost as good as the meditation set but not as good. Now on to probably the least controversial addition in this update. The Battle Pass. The Battle Pass costs $20.99 in my country and will give you skins depending on how many days you survive. If you survive for 100 days you get this special Wix skin, so that's cool. Finally, we have news of the Wilson rework coming next week. Most people don't know this, but the silhouette teased on the Clay forums is actually for the Wilson rework. At the end of Clay's last stream they showed off some of the original reworked UI designs. Afterwards, at the very end of the stream they teased this image. It turns out the developers plan to rework the character's looks as well as they currently look too cartoonish. I really like the new Wilson look, especially since he now has realistic proportions and doesn't look like a video game character. Hopefully the other characters' designs get reworked as well. Anyways, that is the end of the video. If you think there's something wrong with the update then you should give feedback to the developers on the forums, which I'll link in the description. Thank you for watching and goodbye.